So now that we've started, it's almost time to go. And this is going to happen every day. We're going to work on this for several days. And I know some of you have accounts and you could simply share the link, but that is not what the rubric says. The rubric says, and
we need for you to practice managing your files. So the first step to doing that is just before class is over, you will be asked to save your file. You're going to go to file up here on the menu bar and you're going to choose save to your computer. Now for me, it goes into downloads as it should for you. My file happens to be called untitled 10.sb3. Yours might be different. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder and look for it and here it is. Now sb3 is another file extension specifically for Scratch. You do not want to delete that. But I do want to click on this to select it. And on a Chromebook, you can use Control Enter. But on any device, you can bunny ears to right click, both of them at the same time on my trackpad. Make bunny ears with your hand, and then push both fingers at the same time on the trackpad. I'm going to go to Rename. And again, I want to leave the SB3. I'm going to call this Audra Scratch Name. And this is the first time I'm saving this. So this is going to be V1 for version 1. And I'm going to save this. Once you do this, you're going to go into the classroom assignment and you're going to add the file. It's not in Google Drive. It's not on the web. It's on your computer. So you need to do add file. Look for the paperclip and add that to this assignment. Tomorrow, when you add a sprite, I'm looking for Sybil Luddington, so I'm just gonna find, I'm gonna bring in a prince. I don't know why, I just picked a prince. I've just made a change to this. So if I want to keep my new work, I need to again go to File, Save to Computer. It calls it Untitled 10 again. I'm going to go in. I'm going to select it, use my bunny ears to right click, and I'm going to rename this one. Remembering to leave SB3. Scratch name V2. And then you're going to continue this process. You'll add that to Google Classroom. Let's say I add something else or I make some kind of change. I make my Scratch Cat 50% and I move my Scratch Cat over to here and I need to save it again. File, save to your computer. I'm going to show you what it looks like if I do delete the file extension. Scratch name V3. Now this might look no different to you, but watch what happens. So let's say You come in the next day and you open up Scratch and you do create a new project. To access your work, you would go to File, Load from your computer, and mine are in Downloads. Notice these two are active, but this one isn't. This would be my latest version, but because I left out the .sb3, Scratch thinks, I don't know what that is. I can't open it. So you would need to open the version before. Be careful here. Replace contents of the current project. If this was a different project that I had under my account, I might not want to replace it. So make sure you read these and you're sure you want to click OK. And here's my project. Good luck. Can't wait to see your work.